Okay, children, in today's topic, <laughs> no, just for fun, um, I wanted to see if this would produce um, power for a hydrogen cell. <coughs> um, and it seems to. So um, that's also uh, an option here. Um, I'll just turn her on. I don't, I don't know if the uh, the water is still. Yeah, you might not be able to see it from uh, the start, but the um, I powered it up uh, to make a test. And I don't know if you can see the water is very murky. Um, what I've got in is a piece of this and a copper rod. Copper rods the positive, and the, uh, the aluminium is the negative. <coughs> Sorry, stainless steel uh, is the negative. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, start it up. See, so we're still using the lighting, um, and we're increasing on the super caps. And yeah, you're not really getting a good look at what's going on in there. But it's uh, really steamy. And as I turn the power off, of course we still have power in the boost caps. Which will still produce the gas. Just thought uh, we should look at that. Um, earlier on I used uh, this setup to try the same because we were getting readings of uh, very large uh, DC spikes. Um, yeah, it didn't seem to have much effect there. Possibly will change this setup for um, this setup. This is uh, the best setup I've found uh, for taking the energy out of these devices. The um, Schottky diodes. And the, uh, the cap here. And then into the boost cap. Because uh, they'll hold, they'll charge up, but uh, slow release. You can see uh, we still got a, we still got it going. I wonder if we can ignite it. Something there, but um, yeah. That's the lesson for today, children. Um, give me some uh, crazy comments. Look forward to hearing from you. Keep up the good work. And uh, let's try and make uh, reality what we want it to be. Keep experimenting. Thanks for watching.